Well, millions of couples across the country struggle to get pregnant. This week is National Infertility Awareness Week, and one local woman wants other people to know there is hope out there. Eyewitness News reporter Chris Nesman is here with us now. And Chris, uh, you mentioned earlier the number of couples that they struggle, it's one in nine with infertility? Yeah, that's right, Todd. I talked to a woman who lives in Idaho Falls, and she and her husband initially struggled for seven years to have kids, and they're not alone. But as her story shows where they once struggled, they eventually succeeded. It's hard to do it without crying. And it's funny because it's so many years later, and it still hurts. Um, and it's kind of a club you never wanted to belong to, but you do. Jerry Egbert and her husband now have three beautiful children, but at one point in their life, they weren't sure if kids were even going to be an option because they struggled with infertility. Probably one of the biggest struggles during that time is no one talked about it. No one told me, hey, there's others like you, or Here, here's a place to go get help. And I felt very alone, and there was a little bit of shame involved in it, too. Eventually, in the late 90s, Egbert sought professional help through Dr. James Heiner, a reproductive endocrinologist from Utah who regularly travels to Idaho Falls. By visiting him, Heiner realized she's not alone. About 12% of couples have infertility challenges. And about half of those are male problems and half are female. She also realized there are options for people in her situation and became one of the first patients in eastern Idaho to undergo in vitro fertilization with obvious success. The advancements in medical procedures today are amazing. Even my journey that started 20 years ago to now, I'm amazed by the progress in medicine. That medical progress means other couples besides the Egberts have the opportunity to have kids. Um, you know, over 90% of our patients uh, end up having a baby uh, if they go through the IVF process. Well, Egbert had to go down to Utah to get her in vitro fert fertilization process done. There are now options here in eastern Idaho. Ermac now has a clinic in, clinic in Idaho Falls. And Dr. Heiner, who you just saw, is opening a lab next month also in Idaho Falls. Reporting in studio, I'm Chris Nestman. Advancement in medicine. Excellent. Thanks, Chris. If you are interested, be aware that fertility treatments can often be pricey and are often not covered by insurance. Both places we talked to in town today provided financial, they do provide a, per, a financial consultation and they often have money back guarantees if couples are unsuccessful with their pregnancy.